When Simon came back from the seaside, he realized the children in the land of chalk drawings had never seen the sea. So Simon drew the sea on his blackboard. He drew lots of other things too. Next day he met his friend Henry and they went to the land of chalk drawings. Simon led Henry to the seaside. And there was the boat Simon had drawn. They decided to go for a row. Suddenly, Henry noticed something. Simon, look, shark fins all round us. Well, Henry rode hard, but they weren't looking where they were going. And they crashed right into a desert island. They were stranded. As they sat under the coconut tree, there was a bang and a cannonball just missed their heads. It hit the tree trunk so hard that all the coconuts fell and buried them. Helpless, they watched the pirate ship approaching. Captain Cutlass was delighted. Ha ha ha! Two more slaves to help to row our ship! Ha 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 ha! Ah, <laughs> take them below, me hearties. <laughs> Simon and Henry were led to the galley. It was filled with children who'd been captured playing in the sea. And now everyone was made to row. As he rowed, Simon had an idea. When no one was looking, he rubbed out all the blades on the oars so they couldn't reach the water. Well, naturally, the ship stopped moving. Cutlass was furious. Shiver me timbers! All me oars have shrunk! I'm up the creek without a paddle. Right? You'll all walk the plank for this. <sighs> well, one by one, Simon and his friends walked the plank. Right at the end, Simon remembered his piece of chalk. Quickly, he drew the plank longer and longer and longer. All his friends hurried to the shore where the chalk drawing people were gathered. The angry pirates began to follow, but Simon whispered to the elephant, and the elephant walked back towards the ship. Simon gave the pirates a warning. If you don't leave, the elephant will jump in your ship and sink it. And look what's waiting in the water if you do sink. Captain Cutlass looked. <sighs> Shiver me timbers! Sharks! Leave to me, Arties. We're not staying here. As the pirates left, Henry turned to Simon. Well, you certainly drove them off, Simon. But it would have been awful if they had sunk and been eaten by those sharks you drew. Simon smiled mysteriously. He reached out and grabbed a fin as it passed. When he lifted it out, what do you think was there? Nothing. You see, Henry, there are no sharks, just fins. I only drew the fins. Henry and the chalk drawing people laughed and clapped at the way Simon had tricked the pirates. Now they could all enjoy the seaside in peace.